So I heard about that sweet commission you did. Sell out. <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome back to the Underground Laboratory, where we create robots, alien zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And today, we're going to work on some robots. We're going to do one of these robot blueprint sketches. So these are those little short videos where I just uh, just give you a little tidbit of information, something that's been going on my mind, something for us to ponder. And I want to hear back from you what you guys think. So a lot of us, you know, I think a lot of you people on the channel uh, are looking for ways to make a living doing art. And uh, how do you do that? I mean, it's not easy. But you know what? There are actually people out there who think that by earning money from your artwork, you're selling out. Uh, I don't know. It seems a little crazy to me. What do you guys think? Let's, let's talk about it and let's work on a blueprint sketch. So, is selling art the same as selling out? Uh, well, like anything that's open to interpretation, it's open to opinion. Uh, if you guys have been watching my channel, you probably know where I stand because I do art professionally. So no, I don't, I don't have any problem with people selling, making a buck off of doing their artwork. And I think most people, I mean, I think that's the goal. So it makes that, it that much harder when there's sort of naysayers and there's people out there, uh, you know, criticizing you or lambasting you because you, you want to make a living off of doing art. And I think this is more uh, kind of a fine art mentality, and not all fine art, obviously. For me, whether or not you're a sellout depends on the type of work you're doing and your connection to that artwork. Are you doing the type of artwork you love? If you're if you're if you're pushing along, doing just doing the stuff you love, and all of a sudden you find great success, is that selling out? No, because you haven't you haven't really compromised what you're doing. You're just doing what you love. I think selling out and and just to put this out there, personally, I really don't have a problem if you're quote selling out or not. If you're able to make a living doing artwork by whatever means you need to, more power to you. I mean, it's hard enough to make an art make a living do, as an artist. So, if you're able to do that, doing whatever kind of artwork, um, that's your prerogative. Now, me personally, there are certain things that I would rather not do um, that I myself may consider, well, that for me, I might be kind of selling out. And that's just kind of compromising my principles. Um, doing things that I don't really care to do, you know, for a quick buck or whatever. And I know I rail, I've railed on fan art before, and I love fan art, I love looking at fan art, but I, I kind of have a little problem with people that only do fan art and don't, you know, put anything original out there in the world. Um, but that's a whole other topic. But so me, I, I kind of want to do my own thing. And in the past, I have done, I mean, I used to do freelance illustration. I used to take basically all kinds of commissions. I kind of moved away from that because that just wasn't what I wanted to do. I don't really have a problem with it so much. But I guess where most people do have a problem is if, like I said, if you're... <laughs> Let's say, for instance, Teen Wolf, the new show. Um, say it's super popular right now, and you know everyone's doing fan art for it. I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, and I just decided, well, I don't watch Teen Wolf. I really don't know anything about it other than the original one with Michael J. Fox, and I have done fan art for that before in the past because that was something I knew about. I don't really know about the new one, but if I just did it because it's popular and uh, I can sell that, then you know, to me, that's sort of selling out. Whether that's a bad thing. I don't really care, but I can see where some people might have a problem with it. But, but you know, to me, I just think be true to who you are. Do the things you love to do, and hopefully there'll be a market for that. And you'll be able to sell that stuff. I, I'm just, I'm really not into. Oh well, Baby Groot is real big right now, and even if I like, I mean, I do like Baby Groot, but there's so much of it out there. I just don't want to pile more on top of that than what's already out there, just because it's, you know, just because it's popular. Um, um, but sometimes you like things that are popular uh, and you know so you got those gray areas and everything but that's kind of why I'm just bringing this up because I want to know what you guys think do you think there's such a thing as selling out do you have a problem with it where do you draw the line uh, I want to know and uh, I think we could go on and talk a little more in depth about this and maybe we'll on another video but again these are just supposed to be some short videos just kind of spark some conversation so yeah let me know what you think in the comment section uh, uh, let me know your opinion and let's discuss it. 
There you have it. We have completed our Samurai Bot blueprint sketch. And yeah, I want to know what you guys think in the comments as far as making a living off your artwork. Is that selling out or not? Uh, I kind of have a feeling what a lot of you guys are going to say. But if you have a difference of opinion, I really want to hear it. Because uh, I'm, I'm interested in what you guys have to say. So let me know in the comments section. And other than that, I will see you guys later. That is all. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here in the Art Lab. There's a lot of other great content on the channel, so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing. If you're an aspiring evil genius, visit Circworks.com for all your mad science.